Welcome back guys, I am excited to bring you the Seattle Boats and Float Show 2023. This is part two, in part one we were able to cover yachts. We, we found the most impressive yachts of the show and we did a full walkthrough, we covered basic information including prices, we checked out a couple of sweet sailboats, but today we are going to cover the most fully loaded custom fishing boats, weekender boats, and a couple of impressive hybrid boats. Let's get right into it. Juno, these are sweet boats, I love these boats. These boats to me are competing toe to toe with boats like Boston Whaler, uh, Grady White uh, for a better price. Um, as you can see, these are fully loaded for fishing. These boats are really seaworthy. Uh, the first time I stepped on one of these boats, I was impressed. They have really high sides. They are, uh, you know, kind of made for rough water, rough weather. Um, they usually have safety rails all the way around. And uh, just a really seaworthy boat for any kind of fishing, any kind of weather. Awesome boats for a good price. Okay, black fins. Black fins are fully loaded, man. These are so nice. They are so beautiful. Here we go. 27 and a half foot, 185,000. I love the seats on these boats. They just look so custom and so nice. I just love those. A couple 200s. Look at these rod holders all the way around. Rod holders on the back of the seat. Live well. Built in coolers. Built in ruler for your fish. All the electronics. Stereo. Super sweet boats. I love that feature where they have that extra canvas cover that comes out like that. I would definitely want that. I love the sun, but I don't want to be in the sun all day long. A couple more center consoles. Another one like that one we just saw. 200s on it. So here's one with the single 250. So this one's going to be a much better price. If I was in the market, I would be looking at this one. I cannot pay $285,000 for a central console bolt, but something like this, this would work. Let's see, 24 and a half foot, 139,000. That makes more sense. I used to think that you needed two motors in case you have a problem with one, you have a second one to get back. But after doing more research, I found out that a lot of times when you have a problem, it's gonna be a problem that's gonna affect both motors. And so, you know, and not only that, but if you're buying a brand new boat, you, the motors are so reliable nowadays that, I mean, you're gonna be fine. Another one, dual console, 29 foot, is actually sold but the one next to it that we're gonna see in just a second is still here for us to check out the guy said that they were sold out of all of their dual consoles which people love these boats and they're willing to pay for them look at that V6 200s god that's a beautiful sight this is my boat right here I hope to retire in Hawaii and this boat right here would be perfect 27 and a half foot, 234,000. Couldn't really walk on. I wanted to, but uh, I really didn't have access. So, but we can see it. Love it. Kind of a dream boat. In Hawaii, 
you kind of need a boat that's not too big because you're going to have to pull it out of the water every day and put it in your shop or your garage because there's nowhere else to keep a boat. You're not going to get a boat slip at the marina out there. There's like a two-year waiting list. Okay, here's a boat with some wow factor for sure. This boat is made by Cruiser's Yachts and it's $1 million, but the boat show price is $833 pretty good sale and I love this setup I love how the back folds down the side folds out you have that rear facing seat I mean when you anchor somewhere on a nice sunny day I mean what a perfect setup Believe it or not, this boat comfortably sleeps four people down in the cabin below. I mean, you could easily have ten people hang it out on this boat comfortably. Actually, more than that, because when you see the bow, I mean, you could easily fit four more people up there a weekender boat party boat see there you go 37 and a half foot one million dollars knocked down to 833 that's a pretty good sale price I mean that's a pretty good sale right there that's a big markdown I don't have that kind of money but if I did yeah I could see it Beautiful. Look at those bar stools. It's like a mini bar with those two bar stools. That is so cool. Check out this bow. Guys, do me a huge favor right now. Just take a second and hit the like button. These videos take a long time to uh, record and to edit and to do everything. And uh, if you're liking the video, subscribe and turn on the bell. This is a lot more boat. When you see it from a distance, you know, you're, you're surprised once you get on board and look around. It's a lot more boat than what you think. So the table obviously folds down. Two people can comfortably sleep right there. And then watch this. You got another little, two more people can sleep there. Nice full bathroom with a shower. Okay, Tiara. Oh my God, Tiaras are amazing. This is a boat that can compete with the boat we just saw, that cruiser. Look at this, 425s V8s. What a beautiful sight. 43 foot. Check out the seating on these Tiaras, man. This might even be better than that cruiser. This is incredible. Look at that. Check out these back seats. Freaking recliners. Are you kidding me? I'll take it. So I couldn't find a price on this boat. Um, sometimes there's no price. They want you to talk to the salesman, but not like I can afford it anyway. I've seen TRs before. I've gone to the website. They're just absolutely sick.
Okay, so see that section of the ceiling right there? That whole thing is like one big garage door. The whole thing comes down, so you're protected. But when the weather's nice, you raise it up. You got the indoor-outdoor space. I love that. So I think tiaras have the best showers in the business. They're actually a little bigger than any other shower that I've seen on any boat. You actually have some elbow room, you have a nice bench. So this couple showed up with this little Bernice Mountain Dog puppy. So freaking cute. Had to throw this in here. So yeah, these guys are from Seattle. They drove all the way to Montana to get this guy. He's nine weeks old here. I thought about getting one of these. Uh, I got a Golden Retriever instead. But uh, these dogs are great. Um, they're pretty mellow as adults. They're very loyal, but they're also pretty mellow. Like my golden retriever, when she goes out in public and she's people or people come to the house, she gets really excited and starts jumping on people. These dogs to me seem like they're more mellow and they're just kind of laid back. So thanks to this couple here, they were willing to hang out a little bit and do a little video. So, man, hopefully one day they'll see this video. Okay, let's move on. Okay, Sargo. So, these pilot house style boats, they've come a long way. And they are so nice now. And there's about three different boat manufacturers here. They're all making these kind of boats and they're competing with each other. And there's a lot of interest in these boats. There was people all over these boats. Arkson, beautiful boats. That is a good looking boat. That might be the best looking boat at the show. That is a handsome boat. 31 foot. As far as just good looking boat, I would have to give it to this one, but if I was in the market for this kind of boat, I would still probably go with that Sargo because that Sargo is like very fishable and I love fishing. So to me, the Sargo is just very functional. As far as that goes but but man this boat is beautiful okay so here's another one 28 footer with a single outboard and you might think okay it's gonna be more affordable but not so much the guy quoted me 425 for this yeah. What's the price tag on this one? Two forty. Beautiful. What's it, what's it got? Two 
Two hundred. What's that? Two, yes. Yeah, two two hundred. Does it come with a bike? Sure, you just gotta <laughs> buy me an Uber home. <laughs> Okay, so at 2.40, I did not throw up in my mouth a little bit like I did with the other ones. So, yeah, this is my pick of this style of boat, of the last three that we saw. Look at that interior. Get out of the weather, have a cup of coffee. That beautiful helm that it had, so functional, so fishable. I really like this one a lot. And then they have these little ones, and these are so cool. I mean, four to six people can do just about anything on one of these little boats. And I wish I would have spent a little more time on them, but we'll catch them on the next one. Okay, here we go. This one is a Pursuit 31 foot, and it's used. So 199000 for a 31 foot boat, 2011, and it's a full weekender. You got a little cabin with a tiny galley and a tiny bathroom with a shower. So... This is pretty much the exact kind of boat I would like to have when I retire in Hawaii. Fish for yellow fins and marlins. Perfect for me. And I could maybe afford it. Really nice helm. 2011, but looks a lot newer. Really good condition. Beautiful boat. I don't really feel like I'm looking at a dated boat. Okay, another slightly used one, only three years old, 40 foot Gran Turismo. 558,000. So, I mean, this boat's going to compete with that Tiara and that Cruiser. Um, I mean, those boats are a million dollars. That Tiara, is, I am sure, is over a million dollars. Um, a three year old boat for 558,000. I mean, if I was in the market, I would definitely be, you know, probably looking at a slightly used boat. Anything up to maybe 10 years old at the most, I would say. But you just get such a better price. So everything up on the main deck, I mean, you can tell it's a couple years old. But when you walk down below, I mean, everything just looks brand new to me. Okay, so Green Line hybrid boats. Okay, we have here a 33 footer for 419,000. And these boats, they are getting a lot of interest. There was people all over these boats. Um, I love these boats. I love the layout. I love the design. I love how that back gate folds down, gives you more deck space. Um, I love how it's got that hard top that comes all the way back. You have nothing but shade. Even if you got some chairs on the back deck, you're in the shade. Love that. I love how it's a full walk around. Walk around to the front of the boat. Um, as far as the solar panels go, um, you're still running a Yanmar diesel engine. so. You're still running a diesel engine to power the boat. Solar panels are there just providing all of the electricity to the boat. 
which is great because that means you don't have to have a generator and if you're anchored at some beautiful spot and you're going to spend a couple of days there that means you have no noise no generator to deal with no sound of the generator it's just dead quiet and just peaceful and the electricity it's just there from the solar panels and so that in itself to me is pretty amazing Big guy, 48 footer, 1.3 million. So I couldn't get on this boat. Um, There's so much interest in this boat. And there was people all over it, unfortunately. Okay, sexiest boat of the boat show right here. 40 foot Solaris, 950,000. All you single guys out there with some money, you wanna impress the girls? Here you go, buy this boat. Another boat with just a ton of space down below. Kind of surprising. So a really nice bathroom. Um, the toilet is in the shower. Um, I don't know how you feel about that, but I don't really care. At least when you take a shower, you end up with a nice clean toilet. 